This trend literally just reminds me of like granddad fashion. How cute is this? I just feel like as soon as I put these on, I will probably feel like a badass. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are doing yet another Shein haul. This time I went full on autumnal clothing and I can't wait to show you guys what I picked out. We have jumpers, we have cardigans, we have skirts, shoes, everything. If you guys haven't seen my recent Shein hauls, I've done quite a few in the last few months. I will link them all in the eye as well as the description so make sure you guys check them out after this video. I just wanna let you guys know today's video is very kindly sponsored by Shein but as always you guys know the drill I've worked with them for quite a few months now and I always let you know my honest opinion of everything I pick out but without further rambling if you guys want to see what I picked out from Shein this time then let's get on into the video okay the very first item I have to show you guys is actually a pair of shoes which I have been lusting over shoes like this for the longest time here they are they come in a basic white box but what's inside is this and oh my god I literally love this these are basically the chunkiest cutest boots of my dreams and I love the fact that they're full nude I'm obsessed with this kind of color as you guys can tell by my t-shirt I just honestly love it so much I feel like it goes with so many different colors it's always so easy to pair shoes like this with so many outfits and especially now that we're transitioning into autumn these are gonna be so cozy and warm I've been seeing shoes like this on so many of my favorite fashion Instagrams and honestly, I'm so excited. I picked them up I know that a lot of brands are doing this type of shoe, but I feel like these are the most affordable right now So yeah, definitely excited to style them over on my Instagram If you guys don't follow me on there, make sure you do the next piece I picked up that I want to show you guys is this on screen right here As you guys can see it is the cutest coziest little cord. It basically consists of a knitted dress which looks like this It's kind of like a bodycon mini dress and then over the top you can actually get a matching cardigan made of the same fabric and this feels so freaking warm I can totally see myself wearing this around the house if I want to be a little bit extra a little bit more fancy But I can also see myself wearing this out and not being completely cold because it does come with the cardigan Like I said the fabric of this is really nice and really cozy I feel like it might be a little bit see-through just because it is a knitted fabric and it has got a bunch of holes in it But I'm sure if I wear something neutral underneath it will be okay so I guess let's try this set on and see how it fits. Okay guys, so here's the first outfit and what it looks like on. I have to say I am obsessed with how cozy this is. Genuinely, even though I'm wearing a dress and like literally this tiny little cardigan, I feel so warm. In terms of the quality, I honestly cannot fault it. It feels so nice and cozy. It doesn't feel itchy or anything. However, when it comes to the fit, I do have to say I wish I sized it down even more just because although it fits around the waist and my hips fine as soon as I look at the back there is quite a lot of excess like fabric that's kind of just sitting there it's not really an issue when you have the cardigan on because it kind of covers it up however when you take it off you can kind of see there is a lot of excess baggy sort of fabric at the back I feel like if I just size down it would have solved that issue completely and it would have been a little bit better fitted but yeah that's my only criticism if you get this definitely try and size down even more because I got this in a size small and I wish that it was a tiny a bit tighter but apart from that it fits so well and I'm still definitely gonna wear it because it's so cozy and so cute I cannot wait to wear this out also like I said the nature of the fabric is the fact that it's quite holy it's got literally so many holes within it but at the same time it's not too see-through I mean I am wearing nude underwear underneath this but you still can't see anything so I mean I feel like it's okay so I think out of 10 I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 it would have been a 10 had it not been baggy at the back but to be honest that's not really the outfit's fault I can just slice down so yeah apart from that I'm really liking this one okay the next item I picked out from Shein for this video is this jumper and can I just say I am genuinely in love with it. The color scheme, the pattern, everything about it is so freaking cute and it's so autumnal. I honestly cannot wait to try this on and style this. I'm so excited that I got it. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of it as well. I feel like this kind of jumper is perfect for layering over because although it's nice and warm, it's not too thick. As you guys can see, the pattern then continues. It's exactly the same on the other side and I just love it. I think it's so on trend. Genuinely, I feel like 
this is something that you could see on like House of Sunny and they would slap like a $500 price tag on it. And then to go with this jumper, I also picked up this nice pair of brown flared leggings, which I feel like I already own in a different color from Shein, but as soon as I saw these, I just knew I had to get them for autumn. It goes super well with the color scheme of the jumper as well. So let's try these both on and see how they look. How cute is this? I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it's so trendy right now. I'm loving this pattern. The color scheme is everything. The quality is so nice. I just love it. And I like the fact that it's not too long. I'm wearing the trousers as well. And as you guys can see, they are super high waisted. They're so comfortable as well. They're quite flared on the bottoms as you guys can see. So they're super trendy as well. I'm just loving this whole outfit. Also, just so you guys know, they did this jumper in loads of different colors, but I just picked this one because I felt like it was the most me. This outfit is genuinely a 10 out of 10 for me. I love how cozy the jumper is. It's super relaxed and really oversized. Moving on, the next item we have is another super trend-based kind of item. And like I said in my Primark video, this is a trend that obviously has come around again. By no means is it a new trend and it's the whole like checkered argyle kind of pattern. This trend literally just reminds me of like granddad fashion, but I'm here for it. So when I found this on Shein, I just knew I had to get it. I just feel like these colors scream autumn. So I I can't wait to wear this. I'm pretty sure I got this in a size small and it is quite oversized to be honest, but I don't really mind that because I love that slouchy kind of look. I'm not really too sure what I would sort of pair this with, maybe like a nice pair of jeans or leggings to kind of balance it out, but let's go pop it on and see how it looks. I'm sorry, but does this outfit literally not scream autumn right now? Like I said, this pattern has just been so trendy lately. I just love how oversized this cardigan is. I've been really into my browns since like last last year when it became a super big trend for autumn. I feel like it's coming back this year. So this cardigan is literally perfect. I love styling it just on its own like this. Obviously you could have it unbuttoned with like a little crop top underneath. I quite like the vibe of how chunky and oversized it looks all on its own. I'm wearing the same trousers underneath and I realize the browns don't kind of go together because they're like two different shades of browns, but we're gonna move past that. In my last video, I literally couldn't think of what this pattern is called. It's called Argyle, which I totally will never forget now, but yeah, it's so cute. I love it. I literally just feel like a little old granddad. I'm gonna give this jumper again a 10 out of 10. I feel like the only... Th I was just about to say, I feel like the only thing that would have made it better is if it had pockets and it's got freaking pockets. This is everything now. It's literally getting an 11 just for the pockets. Now, the next item is actually a pair of jeans and I'm so excited about these because I haven't really seen jeans like this anywhere else. Here they are in all their glory. It's basically just like a straight leg pair of high-waisted jeans. However, they have this really sick graphic writing across the front that says Savage. I just feel like as soon as I put these on, I will probably feel like a badass and I'm totally okay with that. Other than the graphic writing on the front, they just have a few rips here and there and I love the color of these. I've been really liking lighter denim recently. This is what they look like on the back. They look pretty, you know, cinched in at the waist. So I have high hopes for these. And then to go with the jeans, I actually picked up a black cardigan, which I wouldn't normally choose because I don't wear black all that often. However, I couldn't not get it because it literally has my initial on it. It's just a simple black cardigan. The fabric is really nice. And then on the left sleeve, it has two white strips. So yeah, genuinely don't know what came over me. I'm excited to see how I'm gonna style this and I feel like it will go quite well with the jeans. So I guess let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, so here's the next outfit and what it looks like on the jeans. I'm just saying, they fit so freaking well. Look at how nicely the jeans fit. There's literally no excess fabric at the back at all. I feel like Shein actually have some of the best fitting jeans, especially around your waist. So if you guys haven't tried them, try them out because I'm putting you onto something here. I absolutely love the writing on the front. I just feel like it just makes a regular pair of jeans a little bit sassy, you know? And then the cardigan is so cute. I actually didn't expect to like it this much because like I said, it's not really something that I normally go for. However, now that I've got it on, it's actually a vibe. Like I feel like this whole outfit is so different for me, but I really like it. And obviously I just had to get it because it's got my initial on it. So I couldn't not. I feel like this outfit again, deserves a 10 out of 10. Everything fits really nicely and it's really good quality. Moving right along, we have a slightly more dressy outfit now, but still 
still very autumnal. So the first item is this gorgeous long sleeve top, which is kind of like bardot almost. It's got a very deep kind of V neckline, which I really, really like. The sleeves are super ruched. And then on the front, it's kind of got like this fold over flap, which I think it looked amazing on the model, so I really wanna see how it will look on me. And then to go with the top, I actually picked up a skirt, which I'm pretty sure was from the Shein X collection. And this is what it looks like. I've actually always wanted a skirt like this because one time, I think I saw either Kendall Jenner or Bella Hadid wear something like this. And I just fell in love. It's kind of like this corset front skirt. And then at the bottom, it's got like these little straps kind of hanging down, which almost look like suspender straps. I'm just obsessed with this. I don't know how it's gonna look together, but we're gonna see. So let's pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, so here is my little dressy moment of the video. I love this outfit so much. I kind of just feel like a pumpkin spice latte or an autumn leaf. First of all, the top is everything. As I said, it's kind of like a little off the shoulder moment, kind of bardo. And I love the fact that it's got a long sleeve. I just feel like anything with a long sleeve in the autumn is perfect when we're getting into those colder days. The top fits so freaking well. Like I said, the sleeves are really nice and ruched. However, they're not like cropped. I thought they were gonna be really short, but they are full length. So I've got no issues there. It's really, really comfortable. And these parts here don't seem to be like falling down because they're quite elasticated. And then the skirt, I just love. It is absolutely everything. It fits so nicely around my waist. It's got a zipper on the side. I feel like it fits so well. It literally adheres to my body. It's got a zipper down the side and I'm just obsessed. I actually feel like these two colors work really well together. I wasn't sure if they would look right, but I'm loving this outfit. Again, I feel like this whole outfit deserves a 10 out of 10. I cannot fault it. The next item we have is yet another jumper. I felt like I just needed to inject a little bit of color in here. So I picked up this. As you guys can see, it is very different from anything I've showed you so far. It's like this bright orange swelled kind of jumper. Honestly, I feel like this jumper just screams Halloween. It reminds me of like candy corn or pumpkins and I love it. You guys are probably gonna see me wearing this in a future Halloween video, so stay tuned. But this is what it looks like. It's actually really, really nice. It's got like a super low drop shoulder, which I'm here for. The actual fabric on this is really nice. Again, it's thick, but not too thick. So you're not gonna sweat to death wearing this. And yeah, I just love the pop of color. So let's try it on and see how it fits. So here is the jumper on. I love it so much. I probably wouldn't pair it with these jeans in particular, because I feel like they're two complete different aesthetics. I just thought I would chuck them on because they were laying around as I probably would pair this with just a plain pair of jeans. The jumper the jumper itself is so cozy. It's made of the exact same fabric as the previous jumpers I've showed you already. I wouldn't say it's too long, which makes it a good jumper to kind of pair with a nice pair of jeans that you don't want to hide it too much. I don't really wear oranges and yellows all that often. It's usually around this time of year and anytime I do, it just makes me so happy. Again, I cannot fault this jumper. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 again. Now the next outfit is another one kind of in mind with like Halloween vibes. I just, I feel like this this time of year is my absolute favorite. So when I saw this jumper, I just had to get it. Not only does it tick the autumn box, it also ticks the Halloween box because it's literally got skulls all over it. I love the color scheme. I love the fact that the jumper isn't black because whenever you see things with skulls on it, it's always like black. So this is really nice that it's kind of different with being brown. And yeah, it's exactly the same fabric as the previous jumper. It feels really, really nice. I love the V-neck. And then for the bottom of this outfit, I actually picked up this skirt. It looks like this. It's got like little faux pockets, which I'm a little bit sad about. I wish they were real, but we move. This skirt also has a zipper on the back. And then yeah, on the front, it's kind of like this fold over skirt. I'm not sure if these two things will go together very well, but let's try them on and see how they fit. Okay, this outfit is so cute. It's giving me such a pumpkin patch vibes. I can totally see myself wearing something like this to a pumpkin patch. The colors are again, perfect. I feel like they really complement each other. The jumper. Again, it cannot fault it. It's made of the exact same fabric as the other ones. I really like the v-neck on this one and the pattern is so cute and so Halloween. And then here is the skirt. It fits so well. I really love like the texture of it. It kind of feels like faux suede. I don't know what it's made of, but the fabric is really nice and soft. Like I said, the only thing that would have made it better is if it had real pockets, but I'm pretty happy with these little fake ones too. They look really cute. So I think I'm going to rate this outfit like an 8 out of 10. And now the very last clothing item we have 
have is actually a super long coat. I am so excited for this because it looked amazing on the model. And again, this is from the Shein X collection. Here it is in all its glory. It is the perfect color. And look at the sleeves. They're kind of like ruched and fanned out. I love it. What would you call this type of coat? I swear it's like a duster coat. It's not exactly the warmest of coats, but for like the slightly warmer autumnal days, I feel like this will be perfect. It's kind of like a dress in its own right. Although it's a coat, obviously you can wear it over things, but I feel like you could actually wear this on its own as well. I love the bottom. It is so big and so long and just really extravagant. So let's go pop this on and see how it looks. So here is the long coat and what it looks like on. I... I'm not too sure I like it on me. I mean, I loved it on the model, but let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think it's a bit much? I mean, you all know I'm all about extra clothing and feeling really bougie and extra, but I feel like maybe this is a bit too much for me. I mean, I don't know. I kind of like it. I feel like it's so beautiful, but at the same time, I just don't know if I can pull it off. I think it's probably the fact that I've never owned a coat that's this long and kind of looks like a dress at the same time. I think the design is so beautiful and here Whoever designed this is a genius, but I just feel like maybe I can't pull it off. Let me know what you guys think of this coat in the comments. Do you think I can pull this off? Please be nice. Even though I feel like I can't pull this off, I still really, really love it. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. All right, guys, so that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what autumnal things I picked up from Shein this time. Be sure to let me know which one of these items was your favorite. And if you're gonna pick up any of them, I will have all the links in the description. So make sure you guys check them out. As always, if you guys have any video suggestions that you would like to see throughout the autumn months on my channel, let me know in the comments. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you're all well, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.